I have designed and created a website as my project to help students stay organized. I work as a computer teacher at a K-8 through elementary school. In every grade, there are students that forget what homework is needed to be completed each night and throughout the year. This website will allow students to sign up, enter all their classes and subjects, and then add each assignment for each class with a due date. When a student first comes to the website, this is the first screen that they will see. The top left will have a login link, and then to the right is the register. No website should have just anybody in the public just to come in and view what's inside of it. So I have made a registration page. In the registration page, a student must sign up. When the student clicks on register, this is what the screen will look like. They must put in a first name, a last name, an email that address that is in the proper format and the system will check. They must then put in a password and put it in a second time to verify that they typed in it correctly since they cannot see the letters. The system at this point, when you select sign up, will send an email to that email address that was sent in. We want to verify that it's a real person on the other end and they will get a link to confirm it. Without clicking on it, they will not be able to get into the system. After a student has verified their account, they then can go to the login page. They must enter their email address, which is their username, and their password, the password they created. I did add one extra feature. If, per chance, they forgot their password, they can click on the Forgot Password link, and the system will email them their password to the email that is in the system. This will cut down on phone calls and emails to reset their password. This is the screen the students will see after they log in. Left hand side you get to see your name and a little logo. Down the middle will be any current assignments that are coming up or are due. Down the right hand side gives you the list of classes that you add. On the top right hand corner you can add a class, you can edit a class, you can delete a class. To the right of that you can add an assignment for each class. List the assignments or delete them. This is the page you will see when you list your assignments. Left hand side it will show you the assignment name. On the right hand side it gives you the option to edit it. You might want to change the name. You might want to change the date or the time it is due. To the right of that is the delete. If for chance you want it gone, hit the delete and it will be deleted. It does ask you, are you sure before it deletes it? When the student selects add assignment, this is the screen they will see. At the top is class name, then assignment name, and due date. All three of those are mandatory. The system will not continue until you enter something in all three. And you must have a class enter before you can add an assignment. The bottom three due date, the type, and description are optional. The type could be a quiz, test, exam, you get to select. The due time is up to you. It again is optional. I have added three shortcuts. When you are on the main page and down the middle of the page, the student sees the list of assignments that are due. All you have to do is put your mouse over any of those assignments and to the right of it you'll have a pop-up of these three icons. The first one, the blue one, will let you edit the assignment. The green one tells you that you have completed it. At that point it will turn the assignment to a light gray color and put a line through it so you know that you have completed the assignment. The red one with a circle and a line through it tells you that you want to delete it. These are three shortcuts. Helps so you don't have to go have too many clicks to find all this other stuff. Has it in the middle of the page and it just makes it easier. During the course of this assignment, I got some of the students to volunteer to review the My Little website, Little Project, every other week. That way they could check on the colors, the fonts, the pictures, to get their opinion of what they thought of it. Kids like things to be sparkly, flashing, moving. 
most adults will like it more simple. Depending on what the website is geared for, that is what it needs to be designed for. The younger the student, the younger the child, the more color and pizzazz the website will need. This project has been a high learning curve for me. I had taken many languages for programming and several website programming classes. I wished I would have taken a JavaScript or a jQuery class. With those two, the website can be more interactive. And that is the way the world is going to. When you go to a website, you want it colorful, you want it moving, you want it to doing things automatically without having to stop and refresh your reload. I'm sorry this project is slightly smaller in length than what was asked for when I tried to upload it to YouTube, YouTube would only limit me to 10 minutes. So I went back through my final project here and I had to take some out. Please still give me an A. I worked hard and many, many hours on it. 